Hey guys, Vulture here again, um, showing you more hitbox science. This is going to be a continuation or part two of the previous video where I went through the head hitboxes of all the characters. Um, I will put a link to the, that video in this video too if you hadn't seen it. But that video raised some questions from some of you guys. You wanted to know um, if Hanzo's arrows were different than the other character era character projectiles. Um, so we're going to try that out right now. So I'm going to give you the baseline again of Hanzo. Um, on this, oh yeah, I'm joined by Merlin this time, who's a new guy I've been playing with. Uh, say hello, Merlin. Howdy. So he also has been kind enough to allow me to shoot him in the head. Um, so to get a baseline, we'll establish the same baseline we had from the last video, which is on Roadhog using Hanzo. Um, and we found that the head hitbox was about right here on the character model. Right along this shoulder pad line. That's where it starts. And it kind of goes about like that. So we got a good idea of where to start from. So that's Hanzo. Right about there. Let's try the next character. Alright, we'll try on Genji here. <clears throat> Looks like it might be pretty much the same on Genji for the head hitbox. That's interesting. Brothers with the same projectiles. Now, this is going to be interesting. Whoops. <laughs> Blast you out of the corner. That was a body shot. Can rockets even do headshots? I've played a lot of fair and I never really notice. Let's just give it a try. Didn't do much more damage. Looks like Farrah's rockets can't headshot. So guys... Aim for the feet. Aim for the ankles. Because it doesn't matter. Let's do... I guess we'll do Helix Rockets. See what Hel Helix Rockets do. Soldiers now. Let's see if they get headshots. Nope. So like Farah, they get no headshots. So, aim for the ankles. Let's do... Junk rat. I'm assuming this is, I'm assuming this is gonna be the same thing, no headshots. Same for junk rat. You maze icicle. This does headshot because I've got many may head shots the icicle. Do a body shot real quick. I think the body shot took more damage. Yeah, the body shot takes more damage for me. Are you sure? It's ticking down higher for me. On, uh... I'm sitting at 1800 right now, so do a headshot. 1650, so it's 150. Now do a body shot. Uh. 1575, so yeah, I guess 75 or 100. I just can't do math. Or 150. So it's a Never little mind. bit more. I just can't add. So it looks like the head hitbox is roughly the same as Hanzo and um, Genji. Pretty much, I guess. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. Do I bother Torbjorn? Of course I do. Build them up, break them down. Let's see, Torbjorn. This is gonna be weird because I'm like the height of an ankle, so let's see if I can get this right. I'll kneel down for you. So that looks about the same. Uh, 
Roadhog? Yeah, let's do his se secondary. This one seems to be behaving much differently. Perhaps not? I will say it's deceptively small. I mean, it's a big hunk of iron, and it doesn't seem like it behaves like a big hunk of iron. It seems like it behaves more like a May icicle. This is a little bit unexpected. But it seems to roughly line up with what we're seeing, maybe a little bit farther in. Yeah, a little bit farther in. Zarya, let's see if we can headshot with her Together, secondary fire. Not really. <laughs> Come on, let's bring it together. All right. <laughs> Lucio seems to have some fairly generous hitbox allowance right here for the head. I mean, that's much farther off than um, Hanzo's. That's probably because he does have a fairly big projectile, I guess. But it doesn't remain consistent with uh, Roadhog's alternate fire projectile size. It looks like it's the, it should be about the same size, but it behaves much differently. You can hit all the way out the outside of the uh, shoulder with him. Interesting. Uh, let's see, Mercy Pistol. I'll be watching over you. Actually, how do you even? There we go. I've never used Mercy before. <laughs> Are those headshots? They appear to be. Um, some are. In the some body. Are. Okay. Seems like headshots are double. The headshot is 40 damage. And that could be the next video, the breakdown of what each character's uh, multiplier is. I assumed it was kind of the same across the <laughs> range, but you're saying May has a different multiplier than uh, Mercy here? Well, like I said, I'm not good at math. So my addition might have been off. <laughs> Next video, I'll let uh, I'll have a calculator, and uh, you can shoot me. And uh, after each one, I'll do the math. See if it is consistent. But it looks like the hitbox is closer to Hanzo Genji, like the standard hitbox for her for head hitbox. Not quite out here like Lucio. I think. Do I want to do Symmetra's Ball? You know what, I'm going to save Symmetra's Ball. That's another video I want to do about <clears throat> completely dedicated to Symmetra. Maybe that'll be the next one. So she will be a mystery. Uh, about the Genji Hanzo normal type of head hitbox for... Zenyatta. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can headshot with the hook. I know you can't, but it'd be kind of fun to try. I'm a one man apocalypse. Nope. <laughs> but let's see what sort of hitbox the hook does work at. How close can we get the hook to missing before it hits? You want to back up a little bit? There you go. That's pretty generous. He can be off of his uh, off of his hand, I guess. Still get a good hook. 
Alright, I'm gonna look like all the way at the ceiling and see if I can hit ya. It would be interesting how generous the hitboxes are when moving, if they increase in size. That is an excellent question. We can actually test that next. Um, the hook seems pretty generous, even like vertically. I mean, it's it's huge. It seems. See your feet. So I guess the rule here is if you're if you got a fair up in the air, I mean, aiming like well above her is still gonna get a hook. I guess. Get far back and see if this is true. Yep. That's pretty interesting about the hook. Alright, so let's go back to Hanzo. And uh, let's get out of the spawn here. And see if head hitboxes change, anyways, when moving happens. I can't get out of the spawn. Oh. <laughs> oh, move back. I'm gonna... You'll be going. I'll go road high. I'll go junk rat to pull you out. I wonder if it works for us. We'll, we'll find out. Yep. All right, cool. All right. Every day. So let's see if head hitboxes shrink or expand. For um, what was it Unreal that did that? Yeah, Unreal had hitbox head hitboxes that would change and expand based on movement. So um, okay, why don't you stay there and then run towards me, and I'm gonna attempt to shoot you as you run towards me. Let me know when you're ready. All right, go ahead. Alright. Keep going back and forth as we go. So we get low on health. Oops, I was right in the head. So it seems like to me they're consistent. They don't shrink and expand. What does seem interesting is as the character animates the um Hitbox changes. So as um, Roadhog here jumps side to side like this as he runs, his head seems to wobble, and with it, his hitbox wobbles. I assume the head hitbox is like bounds within the character rig to the head bone, I guess you'd say. Or maybe like the jawbone. So characters that like have a wobbly walk like that might be naturally a little bit more difficult to hit. But it looks like it doesn't shrink or expand in size. It looks about the same. She's right along that same line. Oops, that was in the head. So that's neat. Um, I don't know how we else we could test that. Oh, Sideways? Okay. Actually, you know what we haven't done is a sideways test on uh, characters. So why don't you stand still? We'll get a baseline for Roadhog's head. Alright, so his head, hitbox, seems to um, incorporate. Whoops, stand still for a second. Seems to incorporate this general area here. A little bit forward, a little bit off the nose. 
away from the shoulders. So as he's running, I'm going to try to shoot for this area here. See if I can see what sort of result happens. Alright, if you run down the... Hold on a second. Alright, if you run down the street, I'll try to shoot you in the nose. If I crouch, I run slower if you want me to try that. Yeah. <laughs> that is fucking funny. <laughs> right again. I get further out this way. I can just run through here. Yeah, it looks about the same. <clears throat> I gotta say, Roadhog squat walking is hilarious. <laughs> uh, just keep doing that. The squat walk. Look up in the air if you can, too. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, I guess that covers it for right now. Um, Let's play the dragon. I don't know what else we could do about the head, the hitboxes. Uh, if you guys have any more ideas, we could do a part three about hitbox science. Um, but I guess for now that about covers it. Uh, next video, I, I am gonna make this a series. Um, so if you guys want to see more like breakdown of game mechanics, uh, maybe sub up because the Reddit's not very reliable for like that. And that's predominantly where I'm sharing it. So, you know, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be Symmetra, so it might not get a lot of views and you might not see it. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, give me a sub, I guess. And uh, that's it. Uh, take care. Have fun, guys.